In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a mask out of a bra. So this is actually very easy to do and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you could do it with just stuff that you have at home. I know I have a lot of old bras that don't really fit me or I favor certain ones so I decided to use the ones that I don't use and make them into masks. It's very easy, you don't need to go out and get anything for this. I actually got this idea from Chelsea Handler. Um, she had posted this tweet yesterday and I tagged my boyfriend because he was complaining all day about how the mask that we had did not fit him correctly. He has a bigger head, a bigger face. So they just didn't fit him right. They were just some cheap paper masks that I had for some old DIYs years ago. This, it's not an N95 mask, but I'm sure it's better than the paper mask that we were using. Plus, I'm gonna do the spray test so that way you guys can see if any thing goes through it. So this bra is pretty thin, it's not padded. I plan on doing it to this one as well. Nothing went through it. Like I said, it's not an N95 mask, but something is better than nothing since they are recommending you wear masks these days. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get right onto the video. All you'll need for this project is scissors, a pair of pliers, safety pins, and of course an old bra. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. You could use well, you could get two masks out of this. Next, I want to get rid of the lace, but I don't want to cut the strap. There was this little metal piece that was holding the strap on there, and I had to cut it off using these pliers. I actually don't know if these are pliers. It's something that cuts metal, and that little piece was a lot harder to get off than I thought it would be. Next, I'm going to cut off all the additional lace. It doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, you can go back and fix anything if you still have anything extra. I would just be careful not to cut too close to the bra because then you can cut the actual cloth of the bra and then you'll be able to see the inside. So I thought it'd be uncomfortable to keep the underwire inside, so I decided to take it out. All I did was cut a little hole where the underwire is and then I pulled it out with the pliers. After I was done all my cutting, I wanted to test it out on Bernard to see how it would fit and to see if I needed to make any adjustments. So I did adjust the strap so that way it was the longest that it could be and then I just safety pinned it from there. He did mention that he didn't like the lace and that it kept getting in his eye so I decided to cut off the lace. And then from there, I just kept playing with the safety pin. I did make sure that it was pointed down just in case it happened to come apart. I didn't want it to stab me in my eye. So how you put this on, you would just put it on through the back, wrap it around, it sits above your ears. You would take it off through the back as well so that way you're not touching your face. Now my hair's all crazy. So if you guys decide to do this, tag me on Insta stories at Christina Skibble. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I just use a safety pin, but I'm sure there's other and more creative ways to go about doing this. And of course, you can like bedazzle the front. Comment below where you guys are from and if you guys are in quarantine. I live in New Jersey, so it is a little bit more serious here um, because we're considered a hot spot. I live in South Jersey though, so it's not as bad as North Jersey. I wish you guys nothing but the best of health. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys sometime soon.